We're going to apply a simple clipping box to this room scan so that we can hide the ceiling and look down into the room. In order to do that, I'm going to zoom out so the room is inside the circle. Now this is not absolutely necessary, but it does help the clipping box to form its boundaries. Now I have a clipping box around my subject. I'm going to bring down the top most blue arrow and that's going to remove the ceiling to make the clipping box fit better. I'm going to drag the blue from the bottom up and get rid of the floor and then I'll take it right back down so I can see the floor. So I want this clipping box to fit close to the building or to the room. Now I'll go to a top view and using my floating toolbar I'll change the tool to rotation. This is called the rotation manipulator. And now I'll go back to the scale manipulator where I can drag these red and green arrows in from the sides and the ends. And if I need to, I can go back and rotate just a bit more. Once that gets lined up the way I want it, then I can turn off the visibility by clicking the eyeball on the floating toolbar and finally I'll right click on the clipping box in the structure view on the left I'll choose rename and I'll name this clipping box after that's finished I can click anywhere on the screen and the tools will go away if I need to edit the clipping box or adjust it I simply go to the structure view, click on main clipping box over here, and now my tools are back. The other tools on the, the floating toolbar include the translation manipulator, which allows you to move your clipping box. And of course, you've already seen the rotation manipulator, and we can rotate it any way we want, or we can resize it using the scale manipulator. Now on this toolbar exist some arrows and this back arrow means that that will undo the last change and that is only for the current changes. If you click off of this clipping box these edits will no longer be undoable. So as you can see I can go back and forth with all the edits and if I click on the double arrows that will take it all the way back to the beginning where I started editing the clipping box. The eyeball turns the clipping box visibility off and on. It is a good idea to turn that visibility off and get in the habit of doing that. That will be problematic for you later if you're trying to clean scans using polygons as well as using some other tools. We can also change this from a hide interior to or hide exterior to hide interior clipping box. And lastly, we can disable the clipping box. It's kind of like a light switch turning off or on the clipping box. So that's your clipping box in a nutshell. Make sure that you always save after you add and edit a clipping box. And in the comments, give as much detail as you would like. Make sure your name or initials is under the author and click OK.